Hi everyone, it's Mitch from SportsChatPlace.com, Monday, November 8, 2010, here with your free NFL football pick, and uh, yeah, NFL Sunday, definitely better than uh, college football Saturday, not uh, too uh, difficult to, uh, to, to pass what we did on Saturday. You know, as I say, and I readily admit, uh, one of my worst days, uh, not just, you know, definitely my worst day of the year, and one of my worst all-time days, uh, big-time apologies. But uh, overall, things still going pretty well. Of course, we had come off a monster week. Uh, you know, it was due to, for a little bit of a stumble. That was a little bit more than a stumble. But, uh, you know, we got some winners uh, yesterday, and uh, that always goes a long way. NFL, we've been hitting it really well. And uh, college, gee, over the past, you know, several years, it's been uh, our better sport. And uh, this year, you know, definitely uh, on the winning side of things, but uh, just not hitting it out of the park yet. But still, plenty of games left to go. But anyways, if you're a sportschatplace.com uh Premium Edition member, by all means, email me at mitch at sportschatplace.com and uh, get your free T-shirts. Uh, those of you who had emailed me and you haven't gotten your shirt yet, I just got a new shipment in, and uh, these are all going out in the mail to, uh, today. So uh, you guys will have your shirts uh, sometime this week. And uh, like I said, if you're a sportschatplace.com uh, Premium Edition member, by all means, just email me, mitch at sportschatplace.com, and I'll email you out a shirt. Um, and if you join sportschatplace.com uh, Premium Edition, I'll send you a shirt as well. So uh, you know, just all you got to do is email me and ask me for it. But uh, anyways, uh, let's get to tonight's uh, Monday night football game on uh, ESPN. And of course, uh, in this one, the Cincinnati Bengals and the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers going at it. I just dropped my uh, wireless mic box. <laughs> That's this thing, the box that uh, kind of uh, transmits back to the receiver. And that's what I was reaching for. But uh, anyways, uh, let's get into this Monday night football game. The Cincinnati Bengals, Pittsburgh Steelers, two teams that know each other extremely well, two teams that do not like each other, two teams that uh, play each other twice every single season and Cincinnati Bengals beat the Steelers twice last year. Probably the difference between the Steelers making the playoffs last year and not making the playoffs. Pittsburgh Steelers have been playing extremely well this year. Very, very good defense. Um, you know, the offense... It's, they seem to get it together when they need to get it together. Definitely with Ben Roethlisberger in there, they've been trying to go a little up-tempo at times. And I like the way that, uh, that that's kind of working for them, though. Still, uh, you know, they, they might need so, to get some things together after missing. You know, they still miss Antonio Holmes in there, even though they got Antoine Randall-L back. Uh, for the Cincinnati Bengals, nothing short of a disastrous season here. Uh, Carson Palmer, you know, the former uh, number one overall draft choice, just clearly not living up to the uh, expectations of a number one overall. You got two of the best wide receivers in football over the last 10 years with Chad Ochocinco and uh, Terrell Owens. Still not able to get it done. Cedric Benson, you know, in the, in the, in the backfield. You know, solid uh, defense, a lot of good defensive players, but a lot of guys dinged up. And, uh, you know, I think the big problem in Cincinnati is right up top with the head coach. So, uh, you know, Marvin Lewis, he got them back. He kind of made them competitive again. But I don't think he is that guy to make it to the next level. He's a, he was a great defensive coordinator in Baltimore, probably one of the best, uh, you know, one of the all-timers, probably a Hall of Fame defensive coordinator. But uh, as a head coach, I got to say that I don't think he's the guy who's going to take Cincinnati to the next level. As for this game tonight, I think both team's got a lot to prove and uh, you know definitely are going to want to win this one because they do not like each other and I think in any NFL game both teams want to uh, do it I think you know in these Monday night games teams tend to air it up tend to light it up tend to break out the highlight film material for the Monday night football crowd and for that reason uh, with all these offensive weapons uh, Heinz Warden uh, you know <laughs> I didn't even mention him before in uh, Mendenhall you know I, I think this game is an over because the over-under is set reasonably low at uh, 41 points. So uh, at 41 points, and it should be decent weather, I think this game is definitely over. Um, I also have a pick as to who I think is going to cover the spread this one. I got that one in SportsChatPlace.com Premium Edition, so be sure to stop by and check it out. This is Mitch from SportsChatPlace.com. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to check out all of our free sports picks, write-ups, and action at SportsChatPlace.com. Be sure to check out my best bets, our staff's best bets, and picks from some of the top handicappers of the, in the world at SportsChatPlace.com Premium Edition. This is Mitch. Thanks for joining me, and have a great day.